Welcome back, friends, to our Let's Play of Star Trek The Next Generation for the Sega Genesis. I am still the retro-ish gaming critic. Now, we have been summoned back to the Vulcan Doctor, because she has figured out the IFD. That's seriously all it was, and I didn't have the chance to record it, but it was just, come back, I've, I've figured it out. There you go. And for the heck of it, I decided to take uh, the good captain down, because there's no danger, so... Shore leave. I forgot to actually go over there. So here we go. <laughs> uh, CODIS New 6, I believe. And yes, it was a good idea to come here first, before going to the Ver Enator sec sector. Temporary Artificial Variable Anomaly Device. It's one of those acronyms I think they were kind of uh, stretching for. Its energy source is a combination of Palentium and Rivarium, which, if you remember, were the two main ores, well, two only ores, found on Orange Gamma 3B, the mining moon, which we have in abundance because we've already spent the time to collect it all. this is the first time playing, or if it doesn't occur to, to the player to go to the mining moon first, again, can you imagine how difficult it would be to go through those mines for the second time after rescuing the miners, trying to get all the ore while fending off those Hortel-like creatures. It was a pain in the tuckus. the Varenator Cluster, and hopefully we won't get in any more fights. Well, we will have a few that we can't get out of, but that's just how, how it is. There's one major one, where it's, I believe it's a total of about six ships. You only fight two or three at a time, but... Resources are finite. Resources such as photon torpedoes. <laughs> you look, it's a Romulan, and I think that was a Chodak. That, yeah, I believe that's a Chodak.
frozen moon to start your quest. I believe all three of these tests will take place in the Ver Anator cluster. I'm not sure, entirely sure where. I do remember that this the, the first test, the test of strength, that is where we will start the insane battle. We're working for a planet with a lone moon, by, by the way. Wrong one. Well, that's kind of a lonely moon, because it's way out there. Well, yeah, let's look at... Here we go. There's a lonely moon if I ever saw one. Now we will have to prepare for combat because there's going to be no communication, no nothing. I find this is going to be a long, drawn out, pain in the toughest kind of, kind of battle. Oh, oh. I do a little dance to keep some good shields up. Or a good shield, or you know what I mean, gosh darn it. Ooh, that was close. These things are not taking damage. What the heck? did learn a little something. Stop the uh, run and gun. That was helping nobody. more. Oh, the drones are one thing. The robots are quick and have a lot, oh crud, have a lot of ammo to throw at us. Thankfully, they don't take many hits.
Oh, got another robot. And another robot. That's wonderful. Oh, our engines are in serious trouble. What we're going to have to do is do a little bit of running to keep only the, the robot chasing us. This does not end. Well, obviously it does, but yeah. What? Oh. Finally, just gotta take down this last one. Whew. Yeah, we're, we're, we're saving. And it's about that time. So what I'm going to do is... Deal with, oh my guy. And deal with all these repairs. And then we will pick it back up. Thank you for watching, as always. And see you next time.